You know, from the earliest days of the church, women have displayed remarkable courage for their faith. Emma was a wonderful example of that. She married a man who her parents disapproved of because she knew that he had integrity and because he loved her deeply. She supported and strengthened him in his development as a leader and a prophet. She had a baby here and only lived a very short time. And when she was so desperately ill after this baby died, right. she encouraged Joseph to go and find Martin Harris and find out what had happened to those 116 manuscript pages that, were, that he'd taken with him. When you think about her faith and devotion, it's an example for each one of us today. I know that women in the church today can have that same courage in their faith, need to have that same courage in their faith, to live the gospel and to take advantage of the revelation that we receive through our keeping our covenants, reading the Book of Mormon, all those helps that Heavenly Father has given us so that we can guide our families, so that we can bless those in our community, so that we can have answers in our personal, our individual lives. I'm so grateful for Emma and all of her sisters in the early days of the Restoration who've been an example to me and to all of our sisters. I'm so grateful for her her uh, leading influence in the founding of the, the Relief Society. And uh, I hope each one of us can make that commitment to be strong and faithful and to recognize that sacrifices will be made and have to be made. But that's part of the Lord's plan, where we learn and we grow and we become able to return to Him. Thank you for that wonderful expression. We are very grateful for the Sisters of the Church, speaking as for the men of the church, we're very grateful. And as our missionaries go out in the world and leave their families and finance their own way, together we support our missionaries and their missionary effort. And why do we do that? So that life can be better for other people. That's the only thing we want to do. We invite all people to come unto Jesus Christ receive his blessings in their lives, have joy in their life, and have all the blessings of the holy temple that will endure not only through this life, but throughout all eternity as well.